Hi there everyone, I'm Jack at Sioux Falls Dev Repair. I'm gonna be kind of walking you through a uh, hill damage estimate that I'm actually in the process of writing on this 2015 Honda Fit. So this damage happened out uh, away from town and this was pretty severe stuff. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera on here. Let's go ahead and show you what we're looking at here. So here's what we've uh, got on the roof here. So this damage was actually so severe that we mark on the uh, estimate here that uh, on the roof uh, that it actually has cracked paint. As you can see, it actually has it in quite a few different spots on the roof assembly here. So, to um, for the insurance related process of the, uh, after we give a, a written estimate, uh, in order for the insurance company to process it, we actually have to take pictures of all the damage and circle it all up as I've done here. So, basically we start at one end of the car and all these X's mark oversized dents. So, what an oversized dent is, is basically anything bigger than a half dollar coin. And actually for a uh, reference point, I actually do have little magnets, little half dollar magnets that I can put on the vehicle here. Even got my little logo on them. But uh, anyways, we can put those on the vehicle and then we actually look at the vehicle's damage and lay out this coin on here. So just to give you kind of a size reference on some of these. So that's a half dollar coin. Look at how much bigger that hail damage is in that half dollar coin. So this roof was actually written for replacement. So we're going to uh, write it as if a body shop was going to go ahead and actually cut the roof off and remove it as well as the hood because of the severity of the damage. It's pretty, uh, some pretty bad stuff. So, Hey, what's up, Kent? Um, so basically just kind of showing you the rest of the vehicle here. Um, some other spots that had cracked paint were on the, this is the, uh, the panel that runs along the top of the doors. This is called a roof rail. And as you can see in multiple spots here, it actually has cracked paint on it. So what causes the paint to crack on the rail assembly here is it actually hits so hard that it actually hit the inner structure and then put it outwards, a little crack in the, the paint there. So, and then here it just hits on the edge and it just cracks the paint just because it's hit on the edge so hard and it's all over the place. So that one you can just barely see, but if you push that molding down, you can see that pretty clear. Yeah, that's some, some uh, serious hail there, Kent, that's for sure. So, uh, as well as some of the moldings here. So, as you can see, you know, that's some pretty, I mean, look at that. That's, man, that's nasty. <laughs> so, but it's all congruent with all the hail damage that we've been seeing and whatnot here. So, right here is actually cracked paint too as well. So, actually the front glass, this glass assembly here will actually have to be taken off. This area is sanded down and completely repainted. The um, only thing with this vehicle though, with it being the year that it is and the cost of uh, all the repairs and stuff, the vehicle is um, more than likely going to end up being a total loss, um, unfortunately for the customer. So um, they'll end up getting reimbursed for the car and then um, they have the option obviously of buying it back if they like to and then I'll, uh, having it fixed as well. So one of the uh, another things here is that the customer um, has this tow hitch on it. So they actually hooked this to their camper and tow it. So that's going to be factored into the uh, replacement cost. Uh, one thing that was kind of interesting is it actually had a dent right here in between the mirror and it looks, it, so it hits this, this is just black tape. This is literally black tape or a decal that they apply over here. Same thing with along here. It's not any type of plastic trim. It's actually just a metal door with black on there. It actually looks like from the picture or from that I can see, it looks like there is a hairline crack in the paint. Anyway, so we're kind of walking around here and showing you the rest of the car. We actually had some previous poor PDR work that was done here. Not really sure where uh, where it was done, obviously, but uh, it is, uh, it's got some indication of uh, somebody tried to fix it and didn't do a very good job. So, um, <clears throat> But anyway, so yeah, that's kind of uh, how we go about writing up a hill estimate. We end up, uh, like I said, circling up all the damage, X marks uh, oversized damage. And then um, when it gets too catastrophic like this, we just write it for conventional repair, which is basically taking it to a body shop. Um, one other thing would be like the lift gate assembly here. It's got cracked paint on the top, so the body shop would be writing it to paint the top part, but we're actually gonna go ahead and fix the bottom half, so they're not gonna have to paint the whole thing. This one was actually hit so hard, as you can see, it actually even cracked the tail light. So the damage over here was pre-existing, the customer said, that's, that's something that happened over time. But right here, we've got a crack in the tail light. Customer said that was from hail, which is uh, very much so believable with the damage that we're seeing here, because this is some pretty severe stuff. So anyways, I just figured I'd walk you through kind of a little bit about the hail damage process and what we have to actually mark on a vehicle to show you how it looks. Um, 
And um, if you've got any kind of similar damage on your own vehicle, need a hail damage repair estimate or hail damage actually repaired on your vehicle, feel free to go ahead and give us a call. Our number's on the Facebook page here. You can reach out to us at 605-250-1023. We'd be happy to get you all fixed up with your hail damage there. Hey there, Kyle, how's it going, man? And uh, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get the picture submitted for the insurance company here, get this all taken care of for the customer and get this car down the road. So anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Take care.